colleague just asked me what you do to get topos into Revit if you haven't been provided one by your client. Um, this is, uh, you know, nothing beats a survey. You always need a, a correct and accurate survey when you're doing a project. But if you're doing something on a larger city scale, there is a way to get coarser, big uh, uh, grade uh, topos into your Revit model. And I'm going to do that from SketchUp. So I'm in a SketchUp environment here. And if you don't see this little toolbar up here, you can right click and then come down and check location. And then I'm going to click the add location button and it will bring a browser up. I'm up in the upper west side of Manhattan where it's a little bit hillier. I'm going to select region, sort of come down, narrow this down. You're sort of moving the map underneath your, your region you selected. And I don't know if you can see this, but there's a tiny little crosshair at the center of this. It's black. And let's say my site is at East 112th and 5th Avenue. I'll be, like try and get that right on the corner of that crosshairs. And then I'll click Grab. And it jumps me into Revit by accident. But I'm going to go back to SketchUp, and you'll see that the, uh, the image is in there, but it's flat. So if I hit Toggle Terrain, you can now start to see the sort of lumpiness in the top of Central Park. It's a very hilly, cool park if you've never been there. And now that I've got this here, I can either save it or not save it, but what I ultimately want to do is export a 3D model. And I'm going to call that Topography SketchUp to Revit. It's a DWG. I'll just do it by default. And then I'll go over to my Revit model, and I'll go Insert tab, Import CAD, Click Topography SketchUp to Revit DWG. I'm going to uncheck correct lines that are slightly off axis. I'll make it black and white. Origin to origin. Uncheck Orient to View and click Open. Now you see a bunch of triangles, which if I go into the 3D view, you can see in its totality is that this is a sort of mesh of the thing we were looking at. Now we're not finished yet, so I'm going to go into Massing, Topo Surface. Create from import, select import instance, and when it gives me a pop-up after I've selected it, uncheck everything except location terrain. Click OK. And what we're trying to do is make a, a Revit native Tobo surface. And I'll click finish. And then I'll come and click on the SketchUp model. I'm going to have to unpin this and then delete it. And now I've got my Revit native topo. It's coarse, but uh, effective. I don't know really where SketchUp gets its data. I assume it's USGS contours, so it's probably on a 5 or 10 foot contour line, but it's, it's something rather than nothing, which is nice.